I'm Jack and welcome to Media Pool. Within this video essay, I endeavour to identify and critically analyse my most and least successful attempts at producing a viral video. During creation, my aim was always to consistently conform to conventions and viral media to allow myself the largest possible opportunity for diverse yet substantial user engagement. I will compare, contrast and apply theory to my videos, reflecting on Berger's Steps framework. He argues that videos can produce positive arousals such as awe, excitement, exhilaration and humour to encourage contagiousness. Videos that encourage a negative arousal presenting moods and subject matter of anger and anxiety can also have the same viral effect. Therefore, videos that draw focus to emotional release or relations are likely to grasp a wider target audience in comparison to videos of traditional practical value appealing to a restricted audience. During the time available, the video which generated the greatest user engagement was Media Society. This is unsurprising as the video's most prominent characteristics were emotion, however practical value was also present. The video concerned male mental health, widening in the target audience by the issue being current as well as practical. The instructing of viewers, regardless of their gender, to continue raising awareness or exploring the avenues I propose within the description to seek help for themselves or their family, friends or relatives were crucial. The video that delivered the lowest degree of user engagement was media culture, with the dominant features consisting of social currency, public and practical value. In relation to gaming, tightening the target audience as the content may have appeared irrelevant or alien to viewers who weren't passionate about gaming politics, transnational affairs and morality. With reflection to Neon and Helmsley's 2013 viral media cycle, it is argued that virality within online media has large reach regarding the sheer volume of people exposed to the content and the distance the information travels by bridging multiple networks. I conform to this by using social media platforms, Twitter and Facebook, to do so. Another theoretical talking point I'll look to is Granavetta's ideology surrounding strong and weak ties and whether networking enabled my videos to reach a broader target audience. My Media Society video draws attention to the epidemic of depression, anxiety and struggles with dealing with gender expectations and stereotypes as a man. It raises awareness through staggering statistics surrounding male suicide, reflecting on abuse males are subject to amongst their youth that impacts their long-term ability of opening up emotionally. In this video, I included the illustrations of different aged male characters alongside emphasising derogatory quotes, phrases and unsettling statistics to provoke emotion. I felt it was integral to reinforce my narration of such frightening numbers and derogatory slurs to allow predictably audience responses of sympathy and empathy alongside understanding the importance of the issue. However, I wanted to stimulate negative arousals of anger and frustration when proposing ideas surrounding homophobic comments amongst young males to commonly connote weakness, which is respectively another issue that viewers may also have proceeded to contemplate. In terms of practical value through statistics, examples of contemporary campaigning and links to suicide helplines within the video description, I managed to provide the audience with valuable information and content available to help others, which additionally also saved viewers time in having to locate these outlets themselves. In terms of calls to action, I firstly suggested viewers to like the video and secondly suggested them to leave a comment in the video and encourage them in tackling any issues they may currently suffer from or simply to make an additional thought to the topic itself. Therefore, not only did I create positive arousal through the appreciation of raising awareness of such an important cause, but also negative arousal by some of the viewers being taken aback by some of the heart-wrenching statistics that I discussed. I also provided a list of links within the description for suicide and depression helplines, providing practical value to my viewers, giving them first-hand information that encouraged them to actively learn more or tackle theirs or others' issues. In promoting this video, my main target audience were males suffering from depression, anxiety or similarly similar forms of mental illness. It was also aimed at a wider audience of friends, family and relatives of sufferers, as well as the general public. To further raise awareness, I wanted viewers to fully ascertain the detrimental effects of the certain treatment of boys and men that encourage these issues and the barreling of emotion present within the video. This was to encourage viewers to become open-minded and preemptively consider the possibilities of male mental illness even if they don't vocalise it and appear content. To reach this audience, I asked friends, family and distant friends and followers to like, comment and share the video on two different social media platforms. I received an overwhelming response on my Facebook post as 144 people liked the video, 32 people shared it and a further 23 commented. Whereas on Twitter I managed 12 retweets and 35 likes 
which on an outlet so rife for the constant renewal of content, I deem this user engagement a success. On YouTube, the video generated 743 views, 52 likes, 8 shares and 13 user comments. However, only drove one subscription to the channel, a suggested implication of failing to call this to action within my video. In relation to Neon and Helmsley's slow fast slow model, relating to the speed of video spreads, my video's view peak fell on the same day I decided to initially promote it among social media. Adhering to Granite Vetter's ideology of strong ties, as close friends and family may have felt somewhat of a moral obligation to engage with the content that I have taken a lot of time out and effort to produce. However, weak ties are arguably also present, especially through the promotion of broadly open networks such as Twitter, as my video was viewed amongst a wealth of different countries. I produced the video with the target of appealing to viewers of all ages because of the importance of such a widespread issue and the viewer demographic reflects that. With the video focusing predominantly on males, it is unsurprising that 63% of the video viewers are made up of males. However, I still deem the remaining 37% being female success, as the issue discussed also concern their attention to helping their gender counterparts. This was again demonstrated within comments from both males and females who made obviously clear a connection with the significance of the video's content. As I stress within the video, mental health issues are apparent amongst all ages and to see that my video viewers stretch from 18 to 24 years right the way through to 65 years and over allowed me to further consider my production a broad success. To conclude my analysis of my most successful viral video generating the highest user engagement I believe with referral back to Berger's steps, contagious characteristics such as practical value in conveying important information and emotion in terms of encouraging sympathy and empathy from such a sensitive and vital topic overall allowed my video to deliver active user response. By contrast, my media culture video resulted in much lower levels of user engagement. The target audience being limited as largely gamers also made this difficult to deliver a successfully viral video with a diverse target audience. The video focuses on the controversy stemming from one particular video game mission, however broadly disputes the widespread response to the content included and where it stands in controlling boundaries of modern video game culture. I focused on aspects of practical value in conveying valuable background information so viewers were able to gain external and professional insights into what important figures in and out of the gaming industry thought of the mission. I also promoted stories within the production to provide legitimacy to my narration, suggesting to the viewer that I am as familiar as can be with the game whilst giving a political outlook as to why the mission may have been responded to negatively. In terms of the video's calls to action, it contains four. I encourage the viewer to visit my gaming blog for more related analytical content on the mission as well as asking them to like the video and leave any opinions on the mission itself within the comments box. I also suggested for users to subscribe to my channel for more of the same content coming soon. Again, attempting to reach my target audience, I promoted my video to both Facebook and Twitter and because of the nicheness of the content, the sub response was somewhat seemingly restricted and generated low numbers of likes, shares and comments in comparison to media society. In the time available, the video received 122 views, 9 likes, 4 comments and 4 shares which for such a low amount of views does actually constitute successful user engagement. In terms of YouTube metrics, the video received an audience of 79% male, which stereotypically may have been predictable, as my strong ties such as Facebook friends, those I have previously played this game with, all of them being male peers will have been more likely to engage, or perhaps will have felt a nostalgic moral obligation to do so. However, out of the 21% of females that viewed the video, one comment stood out to me that allowed me to deem the video a success in demonstrating the unsettling content within the mission. Negatively, the video drove one subscriber to unsubscribe, suggesting the viewer may have found this content offensive or unrelatable. To bring this video essay to a close, I would like to draw attention to Berger's steps model. I believe emotion and the application of negative arousal promoted by Grenavetta's strong ties being people you are able to relate to and are familiar with are beneficial in encouraging video virality. To see more of our up and coming video essays make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a like if you enjoyed my analysis of my content and comment if you would like to know more about anything I discussed. This has been me, Jack from Mediapool, thank you for watching.